used to be a time when you could spend $100,000 or more for even a minimal video production system. Nowadays, all you do is run down to your neighborhood electronics store like this good guys in California, buy yourself an edit controller, a couple 8mm video decks, some video software for your personal computer, and faster than you can say dissolve, you are in the desktop video business. Remember what computers did to publishing? Well, the same thing is happening with video. Today, we take a look at desktop video on this edition of the Computer Chronicles. The Computer Chronicles is made possible in part by the Software Publishers Association, which reminds you that software piracy is a federal offense. When a few people steal software, everyone loses. Additional funding is provided by CompuServe, by PC Connection and Mac Connection, by Byte Magazine and Bix, the Byte Information Exchange, and by Intel Corporation, Personal Computer Enhancement. Welcome to the Computer Chronicles. I'm Stuart Schiffe, and with me this week is Jan Lewis. Jan, this is DirectEd Plus from Videonics. It's a brand new thing that just came out. You plug your camcorder in here, you plug your VCR in, it turns them both into a very sophisticated editing system. Here's the controller, built-in character generator, special effects and so on, quite amazing. Look at this camera, an 8mm camera. Can we bring camera one in here for a second, by the way? Look at what's happened to video cameras. That's what we use in the studio. This is what you can do right now. This isn't quite the quality, but it happens to have a built-in VCR, which that big camera doesn't have. HyperPress just came out with Big Time TV, lets you bring video into your Macintosh screen. This desktop video stuff is exploding all over the place. Are these just toys, or are there business applications out there for them? Well, I think they're sort of both. They're great toys because they're fun to play with. Yeah. But there are serious business applications in much the same way that word processing is serious. These kinds of tools give you the ability to experiment, try things out, cut and paste, do things your own way. Mm -hmm. uh, and more and more in business, it's going to be important to be able to produce videos as a lot of things that were on the printed page are replaced by video. Yeah. You're yeah. going to have to produce these yeah. things yourself. Jan, today we'll look at the latest desktop video products for the three major platforms. We'll see the new multimedia authoring system for the Commodore Amiga, the newest software from Macromind for the Macintosh, and DVA, Digital Video Architecture from Videologic for the IBM compatible world. Now, desktop video is not only for business applications, it's also helping serious scientists do their research. And we begin with a visit to the Imaging Technology Group at NASA's Ames Research Lab. NASA Ames Research Center in Mountain View, California, is the birthplace of some of the space agency's most formidable accomplishments. The planetary probes Pioneer Venus and Pioneer 10, the first to leave the solar system, got their start at Ames. Ames is also the home of the largest wind tunnel in the world, and a supercomputer center where future aircraft flights can be simulated in real time. At the Ames Center's Imaging Technology branch, computer-based desktop video has been added to the traditional tools of still photography and film to help scientists explain and demonstrate their research projects. They come to us with a visual problem, and sometimes that might be a way of encoding data, uh, might be a way of uh, helping them present their data. And uh, sometimes it may be communicating an idea at a conference or a seminar or some type of presentation. The center's desktop video system is based around a Macintosh 2X with 8 megabytes of RAM. An image capture card, a digitizer, and a software package called Midas complete the system. Midas is a multi-purpose program that functions like a video image database, storing digitized excerpts from the videotape. It also automates the editing process by marking edit points and storing strings of edited pictures. One of the group's recent tasks involved a study of tadpoles raised in zero gravity. To help researchers identify aberrations in the animal's development, the center's technicians videotaped a tadpole swimming. Then, merging computers and videotape, they traced its wiggling contours frame by frame on the Macintosh. One machine in our imaging lab now does everything from desktop editing to digitizing to scripting to storyboarding to word processing and uh, it's, it's just very, very versatile and that's the real, that's the real strong point of it.
Joining us in the studio now is Ken Christie, manager of multimedia marketing for Commodore. Jan? Ken, the uh, Amiga has been out for over four years now and has been known for being a good video computer. Tell me what it is about it that makes it a good video computer. Well, the most basic feature that makes it a good video computer is the signals coming out of the Amiga are compatible with the standard broadcast signals. So it's very easy to have video compatibility. The signal that comes out can be hooked up to a projector or any other device just with a simple cable. What did you just do now, Ken? What we're running here is a segment off of a video disc, and we brought in some graphics coming off of the Amiga uh, computer itself. And this was created with an authoring system that we are now also offering to developers and will be out shortly as a product. All right, now, can you go back and now